Hi, this is Joe Cleaver. I'm going to complete the first solar cannonball run in this Tesla Model Y. Inside, I've outfitted it with an 8,000 watt inverter. I'll have 64 100 watt panels producing 6,400 watts and an auxiliary battery capable of 5,000 watt hours. All that will charge the Tesla through the bottom here. Simply plug in. And if we look into this in, in at the console, you'll see the current as it ramps up. We're at zero of 32 amps. We're at 240 volts. It's ramping up. One, two. All right, there we are, 18 of 32 amps. So at this rate, we would charge in five hours and 40 minutes. We're putting in four kilowatts of power. You can hear the fans just clicked in on the solar inverter. So I'll tell you a little bit about what I'm doing here. I'm gonna go coast to coast, the solar cannonball run, which is New York to LA. I'm gonna start in the Red Ball garage and go all the way to the Portofino Hotel in LA. Um, I got the idea for this a while ago when I saw the Cybertruck announced and how big the capacity was for cargo and thought, I bet you could fit enough solar panels in there to power it. Well, I don't have a Cybertruck yet, but I do have a light enough system that I can actually do it in this Model Y. So at this rate, it'll take me two days to charge and I'll hit the road at night for about 300 miles. And then each campsite, I'll set up the array, which will be 64 in total. I'll show you a picture here. The array is gonna look like this and there's some of the specs. So the solar panel system voltage will be 273 volts. And I'll have this large array that's nearly 30 feet wide that'll set up at the campsites. So as a kid, I always liked solar power and electric cars. I used to draw pictures of solar powered cars and rockets every time in third and fourth grade. And although I ended up being a mechanical engineer, I always thought it'd be cool to do something with solar power again. And well, why not a better chance than to go coast to coast purely in a self-contained solar system? So this should be the first self-contained solar trip across the US and maybe the first solar cannonball run. I think a few attempts have been made, but no one's completed it. I anticipate taking about 20 days, so two days charging, driving overnight, and then another two days charging. So every two days, I'll go 300, 350 miles. The full trip is gonna be 3,000 miles, so that's 10 charge cycles, and it'll take 20 days. So that is the plan. You can follow me along on this YouTube channel. I'll be posting uh, probably every charge cycle, so about two to three days, depending on weather, as I traverse the continental US. So it'll be a fun time, so follow along, and if you'd like to learn more about batteries, solar power, electric vehicles, all this new technology that's coming out and changing a few things as we go. And look forward to subscribing and we'll talk more later.